Well, at least you're VP. Continue to spot. Still want to be president, but yeah, but I don't. You know, I'm not a nephew. You are, so. I concede. You don't concede. I say don't concede. But officially, I concede. You know, what am I going to do? You have to just pretend to do it. You know I'm better than you. Being better isn't what makes the world go around. It's not apparent. Your know, nepotism is. So marry me. Look, this rivalry. When's a woman going to get ahead in this world? Never. Oh, the answer. Truthful answer. Okay, thank you for your honesty. So, I can't be president, so I'm a trophy wife? No, you'll be VP when I'm president. So, not a trophy wife? No. <laughs> You're not good enough for being a trophy wife. That's what I just said. Right. right. <laughs> so I'm not pretty enough, is that right, Jim? No. Correct. <laughs> but you're smart enough to be VP. To be VP, you just need that connection. To marry my friends. Can I get you anything else? Uh, another glass of water, please. Can you, man? I'll have another spritzer. Are you going to answer that? What was the question? It's typical. I mean, you forget a lot of my questions. <laughs> I need someone behind the curtain telling me what to do. <laughs> Women have been behind the curtain for since the beginning of time. But stand in front of the curtain. <laughs> but you just said behind the curtain. Which one do you want, Jim? It's all relative. I don't think it is. I think you make a stand. When you say co-president, thank you so much for this exclusive interview, Mrs. Co-president. It's, uh, it's, it's a privilege. It's a historical moment, and I'm glad that you've chosen our show for your exclusive interview. And I have some pressing questions for our first co-president. And goodness. Female co-president, I suppose. Thank you, Pamela. <clears throat> On a scale of one to ten, how cute is your husband's butt? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he played baseball in high school and college. So he has kind of a nice square butt that really fills out very well. <laughs> and our Twitter poll says that, yes, there's 85% uh, of the poll says that they love his square butt. <laughs> oh, he is a doctor butt. Uh, some more pressing questions on the geopolitical front. Uh, okay. Who do you think, if you were to get a hall pass, uh, that you would have a fling with? Uh, the Tsar of Russia. The There's still a Tsar of Russia? Yes, we're back to that point, I think. <laughs> uh, uh, the Archduke of Hungary? Archduke. Or, or the uh, President-elect of Vietnam? 
Is that uh, North Vietnam or South Vietnam? <laughs> South. I, I'm going to go to the uh, President elect of South Vietnam. It's President elect of South Vietnam. Ooh, got a little spice in your life, I think. I like to live a little dangerously, but I also need to keep my eye on the phones. Oh, I see. So Very interesting. interesting. And uh, I would like to finish the interview with some really serious questions. Okay. Uh, as a female leader of our, this here, United States, do you stop working once a month, or what goes on with that? <laughs> oh my God. Did you just say that? Yeah, I mean, the readers want to know. No, I have a question for you. When's the last time you were bitch slapped? <laughs> In this job, honey? <laughs>